You like jazz? What's up, guys? Welcome to another Apple of David. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed your holidays. Uh, yeah, I got a haircut, so I'll get the jokes out of the way. Um, I'm not 12. Thanks. Uh, I know at this point, if I go try to get into a an R-rated movie, they're going to card me. Whatever. We're here with the Jazz Apple today. Um... You like jazz? Yeah, woohoo. Benny Benson Hill. <laughs> Whatever the B guy's name is. Alright, I didn't watch the movie. Here we go. Jazz Apple. I've actually heard not good things about this apple. So uh, we'll see how it turns out uh, with my perspective. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Really, really crunchy. Like, holy. I either chose a really good apple, um, which maybe I did, or it's just really crunchy in, in like, general. But, like, wow. Oh, my God. This is actually, like, the crunchiest apple I've ever tasted, at least recently. Like, this is literally, like, not biting into a rock, but, like, it's that hard and solid, if that makes sense. Like, the other apples, it's like, okay, you know, I made the joke, like, you could, like, for some of the apples, you need, like, teeth to eat them. And then you guys like, oh, I mean, like, don't you need teeth to eat any apples? This one is so, like, tough and hard, like... It might break your teeth. That's how hard it is. Not really, but you, you get what I mean. Like, this is so, so crunchy. Holy. Like, like I said, maybe I just chose a solid apple, but wow. This thing is absolutely hard as a rock. Like, you need a solid bite to get through that skin. Mmm. That's all just crunchy. Number one. Really crunchy. Number two. It's pretty red. Um. Pretty red all around. Bits of green. Very crunchy, obviously. Taste isn't bad. I, um, it doesn't stick out, but it's also like not offending. It's not like offending me. It's pretty sweet, but I can see some like mild tart. Not much that you'll notice, but it's not like sugar sweet. I'll tell you that. Um, it's a pretty decent apple. I'm not gonna lie. Um, not as disappointing as uh, other people made it sound. It's a solid apple. I think it's a bit pricey, but I can't hate it. It It's not bad. You know, it's, it doesn't have me in, like, the blues, you know. Ha ha. Ha ha. I, I took a jazz class. I don't remember anything from it, but I'll pretend I'm uh, more of an expert than uh, anyone else. <laughs> so, yeah. Solid apple. Honestly, I don't hate it, and I could eat it more. Honestly, so it's like it's a decent size. Um, I want to say seven out of ten, but I think it might be a bit higher than seven, like seven point five. It's pretty good. I mean, I almost want to give it an eight, but I don't know. It's not like it's crazy. Oh, uh, it's definitely worth a try, though. It's definitely not bad. If all of them are this crunchy. Definitely worth at least one try. Um, but otherwise, it's not bad. So, uh, I'd recommend trying it at least once. It's pretty good. At least the one I have. Um, so yeah, I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. That's for now. But, you know, try it yourself. It's actually not bad. It, it's very crunchy. Decently sweet. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, um, hope you guys had a good holiday, Thanksgiving. 
Um, even though I know I didn't do any episodes for those days, uh, I did actually have two apples. I had a Fuji, which uh, I already reviewed. Um, I don't know what it is, but the ones at home always seem to be better. <laughs> I guess it's just something my uh, parents do with the apples. I don't know. Um, and uh, maybe they just pick better apples than me. I don't know. Um, okay, hair. Let's cooperate for a second. Um, we're putting back the hat. All right, cool. So, anyways, um, yeah, apples. Uh, I guess this next one doesn't count as an apple, but I had a persimmon, which, if you guys don't know what that is, it it looks like a tomato, but it's not a tomato. The best way I could describe it is it's almost like a papaya, and uh, it tastes pretty sweet. Apparently, it has no core. I just had like one slice the other day when I was at my parents' place. It was all right. I don't hate it. I thought I was going to be like, oh, it's like a tomato. But it's nothing like a tomato. It just looks like one. It's not bad. But it's also not like too reminiscent of an apple. I don't know. Just try it. It's like papaya, I guess. If that's even like a fair comparison. Um, But yeah, uh, hopefully you guys have a had a good Thanksgiving and continue to have good holidays. I understand this is... uh. What do they call it? It's like a seasonal depression thingy. Like, uh, let me look it up. It's like seasonal, seasonal affection disorder. A seasonal affective disorder um, usually has to do with like the holidays because, you know, as weather gets colder and, you know, family gets more involved, that's when people can get like to their really lowest. So hopefully you guys are doing okay. Um, I'm, I'm doing all right, even though I'm not going to lie, it's hit me before. So, uh, if there's ever anything like, you know, on your mind, definitely try to reach out to people and talk about it. Um, because it's like, it's a real thing. So I'm not going to like try to downplay it. Um, but yeah, hopefully, uh, good times to come and, uh, you like jazz. I thought it was okay. So. Uh, see you guys next time.